Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you a card that I made with the upcoming Quiet Meadow stamp set bundle, which is one of the bundles that's in the new annual catalog. Um, and it's a really beautiful stamp set and really, really pretty uh, set of dies that coordinate with it. So I'm excited to show this to you and um, let you take a look at this new bundle. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is the Quiet Meadow stamp set. Um, hopefully I'm live here. It looks like I am. So uh, there we go. Okay. So the Quiet Meadow stamp set, which has got some really pretty floral images in it. Um, they got a little ink splatter image in it, uh, two little tiny flowers, a larger set of flowers, a uh, little, you know, just the, the top of a flower. And then it's got some kind of backgroundy stamps and then some good sentiments in it. What I really love about this is the die set that coordinates with it, because you know me and dies and, you know, bundles, <laughs> anything that's bundled, yep, sold. So, hey, Karen and Bree and Jeannie, thanks so much. It is a good set. It's so, so pretty. And Catherine's here as well, and Karen, so thanks for joining today. I appreciate y'all being here. So this is the die set. Um, the only thing that actually, well, there are two things that you can stamp and die cut. There's the little love here, which you can stamp and cut with the tag if you want to. And then there's the sentiment die cut, and that goes around um, both of the sentiments that are on here. All of the other dies in this set are actually almost accessory pieces, I guess is what you call them. Um, they kind of coordinate with it, but they don't cut out any of the other stamped images. So it's a little bit different um, as far as the bundle goes. Hey, Debbie and Rosie and Pam, thanks for joining. A um, little bit different as far as the bundle goes. So that's the only thing is that it doesn't cut out very many of the images. It cuts out the stamped ones and that is it. Um, it took me a minute or 15 to figure out what these were. <laughs> You're going to laugh because I actually, I thought, I knew that they weren't, but they looked like little corn cobs to me. I was trying to figure what in the world, why do they put little corn cobs in... <laughs> With, with this die set. And then I saw somebody who had used them correctly, and they're actually flower centers that go with this, that coordinate with this die. So just so you know that, and don't think like me that these are little pieces of corn, that's what they're actually for. So anyway, so hopefully you get a good laugh out of it, but like it took me a while to figure out what those things were. So all right, so that is the die set. This is the stamp set that we're gonna be playing with today. Um, both good ones, and again, both will be available in the upcoming catalog, which starts on Tuesday, which next week, Tuesday, which I can't believe, May 4th, um, ordering starts on though, uh, um, starts from the new catalog, so very exciting. Hey, Marilyn, and okay, so I'm glad at least it's not just me that thought I was a ding dong when I, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, ears of corn what are they doing in that die set that's so weird so <laughs> but yeah then when I saw them used appropriately they make perfect sense it just sort of took me a minute to figure it out so hey Sheila thanks for joining so all right the other thing that I use on this is actually the tasteful textiles 3d embossing folder I don't know how well you can see it on camera but I used it to emboss the background panel here um, hopefully the light will catch it right and you can see it on there. So it just adds a little bit of texture um, and a little bit of extra pretty for the background on it. So that's it. I mean, it's a pretty simple card, but that's what I love about this die set is that really you don't need to do a whole lot with it. You can just die cut the flowers, do a little stamping on the background, add a sentiment, and it's done. So, okay, so it's not just me that couldn't figure out what they were. <laughs> So, like I said, it makes me feel a little better that it took me a minute to figure, to figure them out. So, okay, before we get started, I have two things that I want to tell you about. Stampin' Up! Just let us know about this today. There's going to be a host promotion with the start of the new catalog. It runs from May 4th to June 14th. And anybody who either hosts a party that has $250 or more in party sales or who places an order individually of $250 or greater um, is going to get some additional host cash with your order. And that's every order that's placed between uh, May 4th and June 14th. So you're going to get $25 in additional stamp and rewards or host cash with an order or a party of $250 or greater. So if you're interested in hosting a party and want me to get you a host code to see if you can collect up orders and get the extra host cash, let me know. Um, if you're interested in putting in a larger order, you will definitely get the $25 if you go over $250. So that's very exciting, and I love it when they do a little something extra um, to kick off a catalog for us. And then Stampin' Up! also has a joining promotion that is starting on May 4th, and it runs for the rest of the month of May. So it goes from May 4th to May 31st, first and any new demonstrators that join pay your $99 for your starter kit and then you get to pick 
$155 worth of whatever merchandise it is that you would like uh, from the current catalog. So it's really an awesome deal. Um, you, after that, you get your 20% discount as a demonstrator, at least a 20% discount on all your orders as a demonstrator. Um, you get to join events, you get to order from the catalogs early, so lots of little perks and bonuses. And then, um, yeah, then you get to join our team. So, <laughs> so let me know if you have questions about joining. We would love to have you join us. Um, we're a pretty relaxed group of stampers. Just um, most of us are here uh, to get our discount and buy for ourselves. So there's no, you don't have to run a business if you don't want to, but if you do want to, we can definitely help you with that as well. So let me know if you have questions about joining or about the host promotion, um, but otherwise we will get going. If you don't, like I said, if you do, just send me an email and um, I will chat with you more about it. So, okay. So let's get started. I have very vanilla cardstock that I have pre-cut. This one is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And um, this, like I said, all the, the measurements and everything will be out on my blog tomorrow, so you can double check that I'm right and what I'm saying is right because usually I'm wrong. <laughs> but the three and seven eighths by five and one eighth is what it should be. Um, so we've got soft suede ink, and then I've got the floral image that I've put on here, the larger floral one from the Quiet Meadow stamp set. Um, and again, this is going to be a stamp set that will be available beginning on May 4th. So definitely excited about the new catalog coming up. And I'm just going to take it. I inked it in soft suede. I'm going to stamp it over here on, on scrap paper. And then I'm just going to stamp it here sort of towards the left-hand side of the panel, but no special measurement on it. So um, got that all done. Hopefully I stamped it somewhat close to the right spot. If not, we'll make it work. Um, next up, I also did a little stamping with the background, that kind of speckly dotty image. Splatter, I guess, not speckly dotty would probably not be the right word. Um, got some crumb cake ink, and I'm gonna do the same thing with that image. I'm just gonna ink it up, stamp it on scrap paper, and then stamp it over the flowers that I've just stamped. And again, I'm just gonna sort of randomly stamp it over the flower image and not really in any particular special way, just sort of randomly stamping it over the flower image. All right, so we've got that done. Next up, I use the uh, Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder, and I'm just going to run this through my embossing machine or my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And um, if you did not know this, with this folder, it's not so terribly important because, it, you know, straight or not, I don't know that many people will be able to tell. But Stampin' Up! does have a nice little line down here on the bottom of their embossing folder. So if you have an embossing folder that it really matters and you want it to make sure that it goes through your embossing machine or your die cutting machine straight, just line up the bottom of your paper with that line and then you know that it'll be straight when you run it through. So I am going to... Um, go right over here to my emboss or stamp and cut and emboss machine to my right, and uh, I'll be off screen for one second. So, all right. And I see Jeannie's got a question. I'll answer that in one second once I get back over closer to my phone so I don't have to yell and you don't have to listen to me yell. So, the reason that I don't put the labels on my stamps is purely because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's really the, the honest answer is that I just, um, I don't know, it takes a while to do it because I have a lot of stamp sets and I'm lazy and they stick to the blocks without having the stickers on the back. So that's why I don't do it because I'm lazy. <laughs> so that's my honest answer. I don't have a better answer than that. All right, so I've got um, very vanilla cardstock that I've got cut to four by five and a quarter and I uh, put a little stamp and seal on it and I'm just going to adhere the piece that I have embossed, stamped on and embossed to the not embossed piece of cardstock and stick it down well so it's on your wish list oh so good good glad to hear it and jane thanks for hopping in for the first time hopefully i won't do anything crazy and hopefully i haven't forgotten anything that's what i that's been my thing as of late i keep forgetting stuff but i think i have it today but then i always think i have everything ready and then i don't <laughs> so um i have pre-cut a couple of the the um flower images from crumb cake cardstock and I'm just putting little dots of liquid glue on the back and um, don't do tons of this because I'm going to put a little adhesive over the top of it so it doesn't need to be like super firmly stuck down um, with tons and tons of glue and on top of that it kind of makes a mess if you do that well, at least I make a mess if I do that because I tend to put too much and then it oozes out everywhere so um, and I'm going to go ahead and just hold it down for one second. And then I've got another die cut. Again, this is from Crumb Cake Cardstock, and it's with the Meadow dies is what these are called. This is what the, um, is bundled with the Quiet Meadow stamp set. It's the Meadow dies. 
Um, and just gonna add a couple little, little dots of liquid glue down here as well to hopefully hold the stem a little bit in place. Again, it's gonna have some adhesive over the top of it, so not a big deal one way or the other. It doesn't need to be super, super stuck down. So there we go, just gonna place that over the top. Mm, I probably got it a little closer than it should have been to the other one. So we'll scooch it just a little bit. I think I can do that still without getting glue everywhere. Hold it down for one second to let the um, liquid glue take hold and we should be good to go. All right, Ooh, the comments for some reason, there we go, okay. Um, all right, so we've got the background basically done. Next up, I have got a little bit of stamp and seal and I'm just gonna run it here over the bottom of the stems. And again, no particular placement on it. I just wanted it down towards the bottom part. So um, <laughs> you don't think I'm lazy? I don't know. I'm kind of a lazy stamper, Rosie, honestly. I have to, I have to admit, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm kind of a lazy stamper. I do what's easy and it's easy with the, by not putting the stickers on the back of all of them. So, um, so this is the 3 8 inch fine art ribbon, which is in the current mini catalog. And I'm just gonna take a little piece of it. It's about three inches is my guess. I'm not gonna say, you know, I didn't measure it exactly. I just wanted it to cover um, a good part of the card front, but didn't necessarily need to go side to side with it. And I wanna adhere it on so it's a little bit off center and covering the adhesive that I put on there. So again, I just took a little stamp and seal, zipped it across here, and then I just stuck my ribbon to it and that holds it quite nicely. Uh, next up, we've got, I've got junk all over my card from the ribbon. Um, we've got a sentiment here that I'm gonna stamp in soft suede ink and I'm gonna put it on very vanilla cardstock. And I use the um, Your Too Kind sentiment is the one that I'm putting on here. But the Thinking of You also fits uh, perfectly into the die cut that we're gonna use. So if you need a Thinking of You as opposed to a you know thank you card, you can definitely do either one. And they work, uh, both work really well with the die set. So again, very vanilla card stock if I forgot to say that. So this is my Meadow dies and this is the die we're gonna be using to die cut the sentiment. All I have to do is just place it around here, zip it through my die cutting machine and um, we will be set to go. So I'm gonna be off screen for one second, so trying not to wiggle the table too much as I die cut. Hopefully y'all are having a good Tuesday. We kind of have a beautiful day here. It's been, the weather's been a little weird. It's, you know, warm and sunny one day and freezing cold the next day. And thankfully, Rosie did not send us any bad weather today. So I'm happy to report that um, South Dakota kept their own weather and we have a nice day too. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna take the, pull my die cut off here. All right, and that's what we're left with after the die cutting is done. And just gonna add a couple little stampin' dimensionals on here. I better put my die cut back or my die back on my magnetic sheet because I will definitely lose it if I do not. Um, and because I have my ribbon on here already, I'm gonna have my sentiment stuck up just a little bit above the ribbon. So I wanna make sure that I have my dimensionals up towards the top part of my die cut. And again, if you haven't watched my videos before, I am not only a lazy stamper, I'm kind of cheap too. So I cut my dimensionals in half <laughs> because I find that they fit better in a lot of places. Um, I do like the, the mini ones, but these, I don't know, I like them better just chopped in half. So that's what I did, put a little row of those on the back. And then we were gonna take it and stick it right over the top of our ribbon. Mid 80s here tomorrow, definitely, yep. So I love it. So sending rain, no, Rosie, we don't need, well, we kind of do need the rain, so I can't say don't send it. Rain, I don't mind, I, we just don't need any more snow. <laughs> So, all right, so I've got a thick, very vanilla card front that I'm going to be putting this on. Um, I cut my card fronts with the top fold. You can, this card you can do with a side fold as well. So this one is cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half, but you can use it for a five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. So this regular side fold card as well. So either one of those works with this um, uh, particular design that I've got here. So no worries if you prefer the, the other card front or card base, you definitely can do it with either one. And I'm taking little Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere my um, paper, my layered, layered panel, I guess, to the card front. And hopefully I can get the dimensional backing off here. 
Um, one last reminder, I do have designer series paper shares that I am doing right now, um, that I'm doing signups for right now. So we will be doing, um, I'll be ordering the designer papers, all of the new ones from the upcoming catalog on the 4th. And I use an expedited shipping on those. So I should get them, get the paper pretty soon after the catalog launches and get it chopped up and sent out to you. Um, so again, all the new designer papers from the upcoming catalog are included in my share and I just totally dropped Drop that. Oop, there we go. <laughs> um, so they're all included in my share. So you can uh, hop out at stampwithamyk.com and take a peek at my shares if you're interested in joining. I'd be happy to order some for you and chop it up and send it out. It gives you a really nice sampling of all of the new papers so you have a good working sample to play with. So, and while I was not telling you what I was doing. <laughs> These are metallic pearls. So they come in a silver and a gold and I use the gold ones and just added a couple around the sentiment here to finish off the card front. And on the inside of the card, it's some very simple stamping as well. So I'm gonna bring back my floral image from the Quiet Meadow stamp set and a little bit of soft suede ink. And um, the dies are just really, really, really so pretty. I agree that one of the best Best die sets that we have, I think. So um, and I've got soft suede ink. Gonna do a little stamping off here again and then just stamp it over the edge of, oh, that didn't, look at that. One of these days I'll learn how to stamp. <laughs> so I don't know whether I didn't get ink on it very well or just didn't stamp it very well. All right, so let's try this again. Um, good thing that paper has two sides and I will try to get it stamped the right way this time. Much better. <laughs> so, all right. So the, again, this is just very vanilla cardstock that I have cut to four by five and a quarter. And we're going to be using this on the inside of the card. And I see Karen posted that I was frugal and not cheap. I know she doesn't like it when I call myself cheap, but I can't help it because I am a cheap stamper. <laughs> so um, is there a die to fit the flowers that I have stamped? There is not, surely. Hold on a second. When we, I get done putting this together, I'll show you the die set and the stamp set. And... Hopefully I can get this stuck inside here fairly straight. All right, so that is all for the card. So kind of super simple, but I just, I love that. You know, I love simple cards, first of all, and I really love this die set. It's so pretty. Um, so this is my card I made ahead of time. Uh, this is the card that I made here on screen with you guys today. So again, super simple. Uh, kind of love the neutral color of this. Although I think this one you could easily do in any color palette. So if you wanted to use blues or greens or reds or pinks or whatever, I think you could definitely change it up and do this with any any set of colors that you like. So, um, so that's all that I had for today. I appreciate you being here. And um, oh, economical stampers. Oh, that's even better. Better than frugal is economical. So I'm not cheap. I'm economical. <laughs> I like it. So, all right. So uh, that is all I had to share today. So thanks again for being here. Again, all the details will be posted out on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. So you can take a peek out there and um, everything will be posted. I'll also post a link to this in the description of this video so you're able to uh, find the blog post tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, I post around 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. And um, I will plan to be back on my YouTube channel live around 2 o'clock Eastern time on Friday and then back here on Facebook Live again around 2 o'clock Eastern time on Tuesday. So thanks so much for joining. Oh, and Shirley, hold on. <laughs> I forgot, I almost forgot. So this is the Quiet Meadow stamp set. And obviously it's got a couple of floral images in it, some little flowers as well. The dies do not actually cut out anything other than the sentiments. There's the, the sentiment tag here that fits around the love and then this will cut out the two sentiments. But other than that, um, the dies are just standalone dies. So there isn't anything that cuts out these two images. So I know you'd asked about that. So again, thanks so much for joining. Let me know if you have any other questions. I appreciate y'all being here. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and we will chat soon.